we want to um, just examine the relationship between the SketchUp file and the layout file. So if we look here in SketchUp, <clears throat> we have a series of scenes that have been created. This one is different than the previous one. It's, it's saved with shaded on, face style shaded, whereas plan view is saved with face style wireframe, another oblique view. These are both in perspective. This one is now in parallel projection. And if I go to my site plan, I can see that I'm ready to uh, work on um, using this in layout. So in layout, I have exactly the same. Once I've made this active, I've populated the SketchUp model tool tray. I can look at the plan views and they're all the same as they are in SketchUp. Okay, so just to put this project, which is our assignment number two, into context, let's have a look at what happens when there's changes in the model. And one of the things I've done to the model is I have created an entire subdivision. You'll see this billboard up here. That is this that you've seen in the, uh, in the video. It's just so we had these to look at while we were looking at these views and so on. But I've also gone ahead and made the whole subdivision. That is to put things in context of this property versus other properties. Now, that is not a change in layout because the layout already reflects this scene called subdivision. But what if I'm actually making changes here where I'm going to um, add things to the property, which is this property here, and I want to work on it? Let's just say, first of all, I'd like to add a roof. Well, this is not something you need to do for your uh, assignment, but Let's just say we're going to do that. So I'm going to put a roof on my building. Okay, I just used a line. I used a move. And with stickiness inside the group, stickiness uh, allowed me to do that. Okay. Now I've completed those two things. One is the roof. In other words, I've added a uh, scene called concept plan. So I've taken out the driveway, taken out the walkway, and I want to create some new things here. So let's just do something very, very rough. Uh, see, it's in 2D, so I don't have to worry about if it was in 3D. I couldn't go from the corner here because I don't know if I'm hitting the top of the building or the bottom of the building. Anyway, let's just do some, some rough things here. Uh, and I'll... Um, do my driveway like this. And I'm just doing it to prove a point. It's not accurate. It's not what I really want. So I've made those changes. If I go back to subdivision, you can see the changes are here. Uh, in the subdivision scene, I still have the old walkway and the old driveway. My concept plan, it's gone. My site plan, oh, you see, I've added all this stuff. Now my site plan's all messed up. Uh, my oh my goodness my oblique view is all messed up and maybe I don't want to have the old driveway and I don't want to have the old walkway I want to have the new stuff now in my oblique view and when I start adding my plants and all of those things I have made all these changes so what I need to do is first of all file save the model that saves all of the changes didn't change, save any change to this scene. So if I was to update this scene, let me do that first quick as well. I'm going to turn off those two layers, update my scene. And if you look, that scene is not updated. This scene is updated. This one is ready to go. This one is correct, except it still has this stuff on, which has to go on to a new driveway, new walkway layer. I have to make those changes anyway. I've made a bunch of changes. Save my file. In layout, watch this. The roof is on. I didn't do anything. Just zoomed in. Notice that I have both layers. 
of new and old driveways. Uh, in another scene, I have the old and the new. If I go to my other oblique view where I have updated the scene, it's updated. If I look at my list of scenes, it's updated. It's all automatic. This is something new for SketchUp 2017, the newest version, the one you're using. We're going to try something else here just to prove it. So I'm going to put a carport on the side of the building. It's just a matter of working outside the group. I'm going to take and uh, drop this down just a bit so there's a slope on it. I use my blue arrow so that it goes down vertically. And then I'm going to save the file. Then when I come into layout, here we are. Notice, notice, it updated all by itself. I was doing nothing. So we have this wonderful opportunity now to say anything we do updates. It may mess up what we have here in layout. Make sure your scenes are correct in SketchUp.